what's up? Today, I intend to break this. I really do want to break this thing. Uh, and the reason for that is, I just want to know how tough it is. Now, it came very dull, so I did put a little bit of an edge on it, just to enhance the testing a little. But this is the Ridge Runner multi-tool tactical hammer axe thing. Uh, it's got this hammer on the back and this axe blade. It's really a cool looking thing, but this is like, a, you know, kind of a polymer. The head has a tang that comes down to about here and it's wrapped with paracord. Now, once I get to swinging this sucker, I'm pretty sure the paracord will start to loosen up. Uh, and who knows, I might be able to break the whole thing. Let's just see what happens. But I know what you've been wondering. Ever since you got your Ridge Runner tactical thingy, I know you've been eyeballing various things in the house, wondering what would happen if I smashed that coffee maker with it. I know, I know, that's, that's what everyone wants to know, right? What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna start with the easiest target, then I'm gonna move my way up to the harder targets, basically until we break it. Because I want you to know how tough Ridge Runner really does make this little guy. So, let's just see what happens here. Let's get this guy in position. Let's see. All right, first things first, you can tell there's actually still coffee in there. So let's take care of that. Next, let's get a hammer blow right on the top. All right, next. Okay. Okay, so that's been all hammer. Let's try the ax end on it a little. Ooh, that's more effective. That went right through there. Now remember, this is soft plastic. I don't believe anything in here is going to break this, but we're uh, just getting warmed up. Oh, nice. That keeps set. Now, you can hook with it too, like this. Well, it's down out of the way where you can't see it, but let's see. Never mind, let's just pull it up here. So yeah, I, I figured out that, let's say you land like this, but then you can hook with it. Now this doesn't have quite enough weight to hook into, but the idea is something like that right there. And that actually did sink in pretty good. So, all right, let's keep going here. Okay. So, I would say the coffee machine is about had it. It is pretty much utterly destroyed, but hey, has that ever stopped me before? Nope, let's hammer it. Whoops. Absolutely gone. Hey, nothing left there to hit. All right, let's move on to the next test. Let's see how it handles plywood. This is actual plywood. Not just that, but it's a uh, got a finish on it, a varnish, makes it the exterior just a little harder than just dry lumber from the store, but I want to see what happens here with both hammer and axe. Let's start with the hammer. All right. Okay. No noticeable damage yet. Oh, now looky here. I don't know if this is gonna focus or not, but uh, there is quite a nick right there from the coffee machine. So already we do have a bit of damage. So now let's try the accent here on the uh, wood. Whoa, that bit pretty well. Look at that. That's a pretty good bite. Actually, I'm kind of impressed. That's not bad. Let's try it like down in the middle. 
Okay, that doesn't work very well. I'm going to the top again. I like how it bites into the top like that. Yeah, I guess if I sat here and did this for a while, you could eventually chop that thing in half, I'm pretty sure. It'd take a lot of yanking it back out, but whatever. wore out already hey it's good news if I get worn out before the tool that's good news now we have a dull area very bent right there super bent we have pretty bad Nick here we've got quite a bit of uh, excuse me quite a bit of bending so thus far is the tool still usable yes actually it is still usable as a tool you could still sharpen that out uh, but we still haven't broken it yet so let's try the next thing I'm gonna whack on that filing cabinet with it and see what happens hang on just a second here whoo old man's getting tired y'all all right Okay, let's see what happens here on the filing cabinet. First, we'll go hammer side. Cool. Hammer's better for uh, metal than it is for wood, that's for sure. No discernible damage on the hammer end. I mean, it's essentially just a normal hammer. I mean, you can buy a hammer from the hardware store that has this material as a handle and is made from stainless steel on the head, so that's pretty normal. Now, here's what's probably gonna break it. Like I said, I intend to break this thing today. So I'm gonna take the blade upside after Finally, cabinet. Let's see what happened to it. Okay, this one's making me nervous. I don't want this thing to break apart, fly up, and hit me in the face or something. Let's see. Oh, wow, this is not gonna last long. <laughs> it's so unpleasant to do it. Oh, we got a little cut there. All right. Okay, double-handed, it really put a good cut on that corner. I don't know if you can see that, but let me try that again. Yeah, that, that's a pretty good cut there. You got the heft and the angle right. Let's try it over here. Ooh, that made a pretty good cut. And, as you can see, we are starting to lay down some damage on the blade side. Haven't broken it yet, though. Let's see what it'll take. There we go. All right paracord is starting to come off I expected that from other people's videos so yeah if you really get after it that paracord will unravel and there's glue underneath it that's tacky stuff there so yeah not the greatest handle in the world look at the blade we have mm, we have really made that ugly but I will say, it's not broken. You can rewrap that handle if you want. It's not actually broken. And 
based on this test today, I don't know if I, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to break it. Yeah, if the old man wears out before the tool does, I think the tool's not total crap. It's not total crap. I mean, hey, it'll do in a pinch, right? Here, let's just throw it for fun. I'm just gonna throw it down there, see what happens. <laughs> all right i hope you all have enjoyed the video today uh we'll see you next time